So once Zotero is installed in your system and also you have connected it with Chrome or any other browser, then it's very simple to use. Once you've done this, you'll be able to see number one, an icon right here. So here you're going to see that there is this Zotero icon that you will be using every time when you're going to refer to an article that you would like to later cite. Number two. Here, if I type Zotero, you get an application. So this is the Zotero library or the Zotero interface that you get. Initially, it will be empty. There's nothing here. But you can slowly and slowly, you want to add your references right into this library. Third thing is, now when you open a Word document, so here I'm assuming that we are going to write our paper, article, or anything, thesis for that matter, into a Word document. You are going to notice this particular tab, which is Zotero, right? So these are the three things that will happen. Now, the next step is to start using it to refer. So this is some sample text that I have written and this relates to my search on pandemics. So sentiment analysis pandemics. Now, let's say this is the paper that I need to refer to. What you just have to do is Click on this particular link. Now, once this link opens, there is a very simple thing that we have to do so that we can later on refer to this paper at any point in time in any different paper that you want. And this will be throughout, stored in your system, in your library. Now, this is the paper that we have to refer to. What we have to do is, you have to go to this particular icon right here. Zotero is ready, installed as an add-on with Chrome. You have to click here. Now, once you click here, it will ask you where you need to save this particular reference to. So, let's say I created this particular directory, which is called a sentiment analysis, where I'll be storing all related papers. So, you select this particular directory and say done now once you do this zotero will save this into your system now if you go back to the application you will be able to see this paper right here you can see all the information related to this paper so here it is a journal article the title the authors the abstract everything is here publication volume pages date doi issn short title url accessed everything every entry that you require for a reference it's all here so this is how it makes your task very very easy now this is the folder that we have and at any point in time, if you go into this folder, you will be able to access this. If I click on this particular link, so I'm double clicking here, what it will try to do is it will try to go to this PDF. So you can see the entire paper is here. It was available. So this is it. Let me do this one more time. So again, let's go back and let's try it on a different paper. So let's say I have this paper. So again, I go to it. This time a PDF is going to load. And as per the simple steps, what we just have to do is once you reach this icon, you have to click right here, save it.